Pom Pom's not here yet? <laughs> Pom Pom knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Ahem! Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. Yeah, what was so important? I thought everyone knew. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Panacone! I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel, but before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. First, Panacone is located in Astana, a star system brimming with memoria which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different, so if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptoms, you should take them seriously. Second, Panacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the nameless. Rome? Uh, anyway... Third and final, rather than being a request, Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Uh, allow me to explain. Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Panacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Panacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Panacone their permanent home. Don't worry, just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? Retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names, either. This'll be like looking for a needle in a haystack! We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity... Perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, might be a good idea to double-check your bags broadcast an announcement before we jump! How's it going? All packed and ready? There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. 
<laughs> well, adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. You're the picture of calm, as always. Meanwhile, March 7th's buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. <laughs> a punchline with a straight face. I suppose that's your specialty. But regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Welcome to the Interastral Peace Broadcast. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to a new episode of Interastral Peace Broadcast. We are here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy. The IPC and the Sienjo Alliance have renewed their trade agreement, bringing great economic benefits to both parties. The head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Jones, personally oversaw the excavation of the ancient tomb of Emperor Rupert I. The ruins rank as a Category Omega site on the Potential Disaster Index. Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. The Garden of Recollection has gathered memoria fragments from the lost world of Moonshield. The precious memories of this world will not be forgotten. Let's take a closer look at the details. Regarding the IPC and the Sienjo Alliance, the Sienjo La Fu has opted to renew the trade agreement. The agreement will help to open up markets and promote cooperation between the two sides in agriculture, industry, medicine, and culture, laying a solid foundation for a free, open, and prosperous business environment. At the signing of the agreement, friendly talks were held between Madame Yukong, Skyfaring Helmmaster of the La Fu, and a representative of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The two sides reached a consensus on various issues, including the impact of interstellar security on the free market. The IPC also expressed their heartfelt concern for the La Fu regarding the recent invasion by the Antimatter Legion and sent their condolences to the victims. The IPC strongly condemns the barbaric atrocities committed by the Antimatter Legion and conveys the Amber Lord's wish for preservation to all worlds ravaged by that wretched force. Emperor Rupert I left many horrific relics across the universe, and one of them, the Mechanical Emperor Tomb, has captivated the interests of countless people since its discovery. The excavation of the tomb is led by the head of the armed archaeologists of the Intelligentsia Guild, Alan Drake One-Armed Jones, with assistance from Genius Society member Scrulum. It is hoped that the excavation of this metallic relic, which holds a Category Omega ranking on the Potential Disaster Index, will finally shed a light on its mysterious nature. According to records of the Emperor's deeds left behind by the Inorganic Legion, the original purpose of the site was to house the inventions inspired by the imagination of Rupert I. A spokesperson for the Intelligentsia Guild said, We have no way of knowing what amazing discoveries Jones will uncover, but we are hopeful that his findings will further our understanding of the Emperor and help save the universe from the horrors that he will bring with him when he returns. The Interastral Peace Broadcast will be covering this story throughout the excavation. 
Peniconi, the planet of festivities, announced that it will invite renowned singer Robin to perform at the Charmony Festival. Once every Amber Era, countless followers of the Harmony will attend this long-held tradition of the planet of festivities and together pray for a brighter and better future for the universe. Robin is a superstar whose voice is known throughout the cosmos. She has been the recipient of many top awards. It is believed that during the celebrations, Robin will sing a hymn for the Eon of the Harmony in the name of the family. The IPC will broadcast the entire event, sending the sounds of music and good wishes to worlds far and wide. As we all know, the Garden of Recollection has always been committed to the restoration of lost civilizations, igniting the spark of revival across the cosmos. According to reliable sources, Thanks to the efforts of the Memo Keepers, all Memoria fragments of the dead world of Moonshield have been salvaged. Moonshield was destroyed during an invasion by the Antimatter Legion, but with the combined efforts of the IPC and the Garden of Remembrance, the collection of information about the fallen world was recently declared a success. The Memo Keepers plan for it to be reborn in the pristine land of the Remembrance. The destruction can destroy any material thing, but it can never take away our hope. The IPC will provide whatever support and protection within its means for the long-term development of all civilizations across the universe, including those that have perished. And this is the end of our broadcast. Please tune in for our next episode. Thank you for listening. Thank you. I spoke to Mr. Yang. I'll be staying on the Express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacony. Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I don't like bustling places. And <laughs> someone has to handle the work on the Express. Pay no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacony isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Um, I'd advise double-checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. Extra clothes, check. Toiletries. Aw, drat! The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacony's resort hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. What else should I bring? My pom-pom toy? <laughs> Not a bad idea! That's kinda like bringing the conductor on vacay with me! Uh, but I think it's too big to stuff in the case. Aw, this is hard. What else should I take? It's about time. I should find a seat. Yeah. Uh -huh.
train is about to make the jump. Five, four, three, two, one. Not another one. Come with me. <sighs> These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. Left, to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. This way. After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? How is this even possible? Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? <laughs> Why not? We're almost there. Can you still walk? Don't panic. This is normal. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. These voices... They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. We're here. this realm, and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you.
You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I... tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear? Losing these bonds. Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception. I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? Understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming long night, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now is ponder its significance. Uh. 
And then... You can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answer.